here to be on this um, lockdown. It's a beautiful experience with awesome people from Avuno. And um, we love the Lord and we love to sing for the Lord. One thing we know is heaven comes down when we sing. And this next song says, call on God. The best thing about God, you can call him anywhere, anytime, a a a any anyhow, you know. <laughs> You can go to the washroom and call on him. You can go, you know, anywhere. You can call on God and he's hearing. And he hears your prayer. So muite, usinyamaze. Don't be silent when you're going through fire. Whatever you're going through, call on him.
he's, he's, he's a constant friend, he never changes. Never moody, he's good all the time. Kuna namna anatupenda. Kuna namna ya yani God anatupenda. Nobody can love us, love us like that. years I've had the opportunity to um, meet amazing people. Um, we call them refugees, but another word for them is people who have been forced to flee. And so, yeah, they made me Goodwill Ambassador, you know, last year. But one thing about these wonderful people is that they all have powerful, amazing stories. When you hear their stories, you realize that we as Kenyans have gone through nothing. Because it's, it's abuse, it's death, it's all those kinds of things. But, you know, there are they, they, they are 470,000 uh, refugees in Kenya. Did you know that? 78% of those are women, women just like me. And so when you visit them, you can feel, because they're dark like me, you know, uh, mothers just like me. And, um, you know, most of them have had such a terrible past. But the one thing that they keep, you know, that they value is the peace that they have in, you know, the camps, in like Kakuma camp in Turukana. And yet, you know, they're not living a comfortable, comfortable life like we are. I had an opportunity to meet um, three wonderful refugees with beautiful stories. And uh, one of them is Nyandeng Guy, beautiful girl. She got an A in her KCSE. You know, through those harsh conditions, they have such resilience. Another wonderful person is Gaston, who is a wild taekwondo winner. 
And one of my favorites is a young man called Cherinette. Cherinette is so handsome. But when he came to Kenya, he was um, sleeping in the streets for a, quite a while. And the beautiful story about him is when I talked to him recently, he said he's going to Harvard and to, to study law in Harvard. And if you know Harvard, that's a big deal. But the best thing about, you know, Cherinette is that he loves the Lord and his love for the Lord, you know, just gives him some radiance and makes him so handsome. I'm sure when you look at that picture, he looks really handsome. And the one thing that my dream is, is that we as Africans and as Kenyans, we will learn to support people that we do not even know. Because the Good Samaritan in the Bible did not support that person, did not take the, 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 the man who had been, you know, robbed to the inn because he knew him but he did it because of love. I pray that this will be our dream. And so part of the uh, money that we are, you know, giving to, the, to this, 50% of it will go to, you know, refugees. And so give as much as you can. I pray that our culture will be a culture of giving, that when we talk about Africa, we'll talk about Kenyans who give to the almost 500,000 refugees in Kenya and 20 million refugees uh, around the world. And so um, there's one scripture that I really wanted to read through. The scripture that says, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. That's part of what my prayer for us will be. So give as much as you can. Give to refugees. Because Jesus was a refugee. D Daniel was a refugee. Joseph was a refugee. The whole Bible is full of refugees. And not only that, but the, the word of God, and especially in the Pentateuch, it talks about saving some food in your farms for the stranger, for the refugee, for the poor, and God will bless you. And so as we sing these wonderful songs, we're excited to know that we, you know, we, we, we are blessed as Kenyans. We are excited to know that we can worship easily and, and be in the presence of God freely. This next song says, Nivute, e baba, karibu na wewe. Amen. May we draw closer to God. And the more you draw closer to God, the more he shows you how to love others. Amen. Yeah, I am. 
none is worthy as our God. Him who did not, who came to earth while he was God. He didn't count himself, you know, as equal to God. Kule kuwa kama mungu. Alikuona si kitu. But he came to save us.
believe that praise and worship is one of the most powerful things that we can do as human beings. This is the only thing that we can do for God that He can do for Himself. He created us that we may worship Him. And I'm, I'm excited about Exodus 15, 11. You know, some people may ask, why do you have to sweat? Why do you have to praise so hard? But Exodus 15, 11 says, who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders. He's fearful in our praises. He is fearful in our praises. Our God is fearful in our praises. And I just want to let you know that even as you watch this and even as you sing along with us, that as you worship Him, He is fearful in our praises. Different versions say different things, but my Bible says He's fearful in our praises. And so as you worship Him, healings are taking place. As you worship Him, deliverance is taking place. Oh, I've been healed so many times when I was worshiping. Not just physically, but also emotionally. I believe that there is no higher calling than to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And it's a beautiful thing to know better is one day in the presence of the Lord than a thousand elsewhere. Amen. So the next song, we're going to do it all of us, you know, the Mavuno team. We just want to say thank you, Lord, because we know, you know, that attitude of gratitude brings multiplication. I mean, Jesus just said, thank you. Thank you, Lord. And when the fish and the bread multiplied. And we believe as we thank God, you know, there's multiplication happening. We're not doing it because we want the multiplication. But we know that our God is good. Amen. Hallelujah.
together. All right? Are you ready? Hey, hey. I want you to sing after me. Say, so we are.
Nani yako good? Yo ai. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to praise God right where you are. Stand up on your feet and start praising God. These are awesome songs that we all know. Beautiful songs. Let's go.
See you next time!